fun project today, let us say a kid, or an adult in this case, took a few pastels and went absolutely berserk over the coloring book. Can we recover it? Today we're gonna see whether Photoshop can do the job. Now before we get into Photoshop, the richer the source, the better the result. So if the kid or yourself have overpainted a lot over the edges, you get something like this with your color pastel. For drawing funky textures and scraping, just take that and try to scrape the colors off the edge. It doesn't have to 100% work, but it makes your job so much easier in Photoshop and you have to do way less cleanup. Now here's a more destroyed outline. Now you can take all the time in the world with as much precision as you want and then just simply take a picture or scan it for the best results and this my friend is our final scan. Now first of all we have to separate the colors. If you directly go to select and color range it won't do a better job because if you try to select the edge right here it's also going to select a lot of the other areas. We need to instead target each and every color and make it as bright as we possibly can. So for it create a hue saturation adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose hue saturation. There it is. Now how do we target all the colors? Here's the long way. You can go to each channel for example the red channel and and take the lightness all the way to the right hand side then go to yellows take the lightness all the way to the right hand side instead of doing all of that long process here's what you can do just go to the red channel click on the drop down click on reds that's what we are targeting and now instead of targeting just the reds expand the range just like that all the way through now take the lightness all the way to the right hand side now the blue is left out because that area has a gap well, let's go to yellows, it doesn't matter where you go, and expand the range from the blue areas. That's all. Full range expanded, and now take the lightness all the way to the right hand side. <laughs> much, much improved. There's still a little bit of overlapping. You and I are going to easily take care of it. I have you with me. So press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to create a stamp visible layer at the top. This is simply a merged layer of everything you see in the canvas, and then go to Select and color range. In the selection preview, choose grayscale, white are the areas which are selected and black are the areas which are not selected. You can zoom in a little more. From the select drop down, it usually would be sample colors or something else. Just choose shadows. Take the fuzziness and the range all the way to the left hand side. Now slowly and gradually increase the range. That's all. And just when you recover everything, stop. So I'm going to increase it a little more. So we have recovered most things as you can see. Let's zoom out and check. Most things are recovered, but then again, the edges are very harsh. So for it, increase the fuzziness. Now, when you do increase the fuzziness, a lot of the other colors also will show up. So now we do have better edges, but a lot of the other colors have shown up. So now you need to adjust the range again. So like that, most of these are gone. Pretty amazing. Now, if you take the range a little too extreme, these areas would be gone as well. So we would have to find a balance. So about 133, 134 is fine. Hit OK. Now all we have to do is a little cleanup. Now once we have the selection, don't worry about anything else. Just create a solid color adjustment layer with the selection active. Choose black or any other colors you want the outlines to be off. And then you hit OK. Then you can create a bright white background. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. Choose white from right here. And there you have your Bart Simpson. Now a little bit of cleanup, it's not a big deal. You can choose the mask, hold the Alt key, the Option key, click on the mask to just view it, take the brush, black as the foreground color, and just paint that away. As simple as that. Now if you have something over the main strokes, you can use the overlay masking trick to fix it. But in this case, we don't have to do any of that because we used the scraper and did the hard work, did the hard work <laughs> beforehand. Let me show you how to do it anyway. Let us be wrong on purpose. Let's take a low flow brush and let me destroy it a little bit. Let's say it's something like this. How do you remove this? Simple. First of all, obviously, choose black as the foreground color. You can decrease the flow to about 10 or 20% and then change the blend mode of the brush, not the layer, of the brush from normal to overlay. Now, something exciting happens. When you have black chosen and the overlay blend mode chosen, no matter how much you paint on absolutely white areas, it just won't do anything. But if it's not absolutely white like this area, it will paint over that in that proportion. So if we paint right now, see it's painting over that, but it's not touching the absolutely white line right there. There you go, easily gone. So that my friend is the overlay trick. Let us clean the rest of the areas. You don't have to have it on overlay. Make sure you change it back. Otherwise, the next time you're using the brush, you would be scratching your hair. I can guarantee that. Now, while you're cleaning that, there's going to be some kind of specs that just won't go away. You know what you need for it? This. 
Please do the needful. I have suffered. For the outside, just to be sure, you can make a rough selection around it. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl Shift I, Command Shift I, and then fill it with black by pressing Alt Backspace or Option Delete. Make sure the foreground color has black in it. Press Ctrl or Command D, hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the mask back again, and there you have it absolutely recover. Even after doing all of the steps, if you cannot recover it, save yourself some money for uh, maybe an ice cream and a new coloring book if it's a kid or if it's yourself, just have an ice cream. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. What can I do?